So somehow on my channel in 228 videos, I've never actually explained how I go about coloring the lines themselves. Not, the, not coloring in the lines or under the lines, but the actual line art itself. Uh, this is something I do a lot if I want to, you know, create some depth or push something further into the background or maybe for a special effect or something. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. I'm going to show you three different apps, three different ways to do this. And so you should be able to find a way that'll work for you in just about whatever you're doing. Now I'm going to start with Photoshop, but I will also put some timestamps up here uh, somewhere on the screen to show that where you can jump to to see it in Clip Studio or in Procreate. Now if your line art is already on a transparent layer, you can skip this first part, but I'm going to assume for the start of this that the inks and the white of the paper are all in the same layer together, because it's a very common way to start. And I've labeled the layer inks as the only layer that there is here. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to channels. Now if you, if you don't have channels open, just go to window and then channels, and that'll toggle that off and on. You can put it wherever you like. So now that we're in our channel window, right here is a little picture in the RGB channel, okay? We want to control or command click this little picture right here. So I'm going to hold down control, click that little picture, and it's going to make a selection of all of the white and shades of gray that are on this image and select that. Now I actually want the opposite of this selected. I want to select the inks themselves. So at this point, you can either go to select and click inverse, or you can use a little command here, control shift I, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hold down control or command and shift and click the letter I. And now it's inverted that selection. So it's only selected the black lines themselves. So now it's just a matter of going back to our layers, make a new layer, and I'll call this uh, inks two, just to separate the two from the original, and just fill that with black. Now, if I turn off the original, and deselect my selection. So now we have the line art on a transparent layer. And the only thing that appears on this layer is now those ink lines. So it's not a bad idea to do the uh, lock transparent pixels or the alpha lock. Uh, if you click that, then now we can't make any changes to any of the transparent areas on this image. You can't accidentally color over something here, which is which has saved me many times. Now at this point, technically, you could just start coloring these lines. Okay, so if I pick a different color and a brush and start coloring, you can see that it's changing these lines. And I'm going to go ahead and put some white under here so we don't have to keep looking at these checkerboards. So anyway, back to my inks layer. And like I said, at this point, I could actually start coloring on this now. And in any color that I pick, you can see it's going to start coloring those lines. But there's a better way to do this, I think. And that is to put a clipping mask on this layer. So I'm going to click the little plus sign here and in Photoshop if you hold down alt or option and put your cursor right in between these two layers you can see it changes to this little square with an arrow pointing down so I'm gonna click right there and you can see that it's now clipped this layer to my inks that I've just created what this means is on this new layer I can paint and it's going to stay contained to those ink lines and you can have as many of these clipping layers as you want. I'll go ahead and rename this to color holds. That's actually what the industry calls this when you color the line. It's called color holds. And you can use this in conjunction with the selection tool just like you always would. So like what I did on this original, I went in and selected all of these inclines back here and filled that with a different color so that you know that area looked washed out where this light was was hitting in the uh, in the final piece so you can use selection tools you can use gradients you can use all the different options you want to use and it's not going to do anything except stick to these inks so anything you do on a clipping mask is going to stick to those inks and not affect anything else and there's no magic tricks or shortcuts to doing this faster as far as what areas to fill you know you have to be pretty precise through here and select just the areas that you want you can do this with a lasso, you can paint it in, there's a lot of ways to do this, but that is how I would go about changing those line colors in Photoshop. Now what I would do to avoid having to do all of those clicks every single time is to record an action, recording yourself doing it, and that way you don't have to do this every time, you can do it all in one click. So now we're in Clip Studio, it's actually much simpler to put your line art on a transparency in this app. All you have to do, again you can see I've got my inks with the white all in the same layer, you're just going to click edit and then convert brightness to opacity. Now our inks are on a transparent layer. You can turn my paper back on. Now I'm ready to create my clipping mask. So you can make a new layer by clicking on the 
new layer button at the bottom, or you can just hold shift, control, or command and click the letter N. That will create a new layer. And then just click this little cylinder right here. If it wasn't obvious, that is the clip at layer below. And now we've got a clipping layer. You can see how the layer sort of slid over to the right here. That's how we know that it's a, a clipping mask. And now I can pick a brush and go crazy. And now is as good of a time as any to remind you that this is just how I do this. There's probably a better way, especially in clip. I'm not as familiar with it. So if you have a better way, a faster way, by all means, leave a comment below. Let's educate each other. So in Procreate, if I go to my layers, you can see I've got all the inks on one layer with the white. If you click on that layer, you'll get the little menu pop up. Click Copy. It's going to copy the contents of that layer. Make a new layer and fill it with black. My cat has decided to start talking to us. So go to that new layer, fill it with black. Then put a mask on that layer. Click it again. Click the mask. Not a clipping mask, just a regular mask. And we've now added a layer mask to that new layer we made. While the mask is selected, not the layer, we go to the mask, three finger swipe down, we'll pull up this menu and click paste. And you're going to get this kind of weird looking uh, version of it. Go back to your layers window, click on the mask, and click invert. Then merge that mask into that new layer you made. And that's it. Now you can see... Well, you can't really see very well. If I turn on the background color, you can see that now we have, if I go in and change the background, you can see that now I have the inks on their own layer by themselves on a transparent layer. And I can go and delete this other now if I want to. And for the color, it's going to work the same way. I can just make a new layer, make sure it's a clipping mask, and I can now switch to a different color and color away. Now, if you want to see this technique and all of my other tricks in action, you can download about 50 plus of my layered PSD files on Patreon. You'll also get access to the Color with Kurt Discord, where you can join a couple hundred of us fellow color nerds. Uh, you can get feedback on your work, ask questions. I do a private live class for members each month, and they're recorded, so you can even go back and watch the ones we've already done if you were to join now, for example. And if you want to see my whole process start to finish all laid out like this, I do have links to my courses below. I'll put a coupon code down there too to get you a nice little discount. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.